been locked inside for four days now. I got to play some samba. Hi, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Scullin's, oh, sorry about that. Mr. Scullin's Music Room, back again uh, with the uh, Stuck at Home Specials. That's what I'm gonna call them, maybe. I don't know, uh, you can do this anytime. But um, there's one style of music which is really fun to play, and I figured you could use most things to recreate this. Um, so the style of music we're going to look at is a bit of samba drumming. Now normally when I do this we have various drums, we've got big drums, we've got little drums, they all make different sounds, different tones, and you blend them all together, together, and they all play different rhythms. And these rhythms, it's like a bit of a musical jigsaw, they all slot together, and before long you've got this really nice solid sound. Um, but we're going to do a bit of a, a, a kitchen an item, household item uh, samba, uh, piece here and I want you to um, to take what you learn on this video but but mix up a little bit change the in, uh, I say instruments change the objects that you're going to be using I'm not going to be using any traditional instruments it's stuff that I found in my kitchen um, uh, so it's like a kitchen family samba thing so get your grown-ups at home to join in brothers and sisters all work together all take a various instrument see if you can come up with a samba uh, rhythm um, so we're going to go through a few basic ones uh, and the rules are as follows we've got different tones we've got different frequencies in other words we've got low pitched instruments and we've got high pitched instruments the high ones tend to play the melodic side of things so there'll be a bit of a tune going on it's all drumming but the, the drums will be tuned to different um, pitches uh, and the lower instruments they'll provide the pulse or the beat okay so um, if you know about rhythm and pulse, if you're not sure about it, the pulse is that steady count. Generally to four, not always, okay, but in this kind of music, you wanna to go to four. Four's a, a really good musical number, helps you, um, like if you're gonna dance to it, and samba is all about movement, it's not about sitting still and going, oh, that was a lovely samba piece of drumming, thank you. You wanna to move to it, you wanna get up and dance, that's the whole thing. Have a little party with your uh, kitchen utensils, that kind of thing. So. Um, I've grabbed a few bits. Uh, the first thing uh, which I'm going to use is this delightful pink Tupperware box. Um, uh, and that's going to be my low pitch instrument. I'm going to use it like a um, what they're known as surdos or surdos, um, the Brazilian, the big Brazilian drums. Um, so that's going to be my surdo. That's going to provide the pulse. And um, if you're playing a rhythm, on a drum, sometimes it's nice to have a little rhythm sentence to help you remember it. So a very straightforward one for this would be something like, I like samba, which is really straightforward. Um, um, or you could add to it a little bit, have a little extra beat just to get it moving a bit more. So check out my pink lid. Huh? Okay, so maybe that could be, uh, the rhythm. I'm going to use that as our pulse rhythm. So when I when I actually record this, I'm going to be recording it using a loop pedal. So I'm going to do all of the drums, layer them on top of each other. All right. So our first one, our pulse, and keep it straight. You can go, I love samba, or check out my pink lid. Come up with your own. Keep it nice and straight. Don't go too um, over the top with it. If you if you notice how long it goes on for, if I count to four, one, two, three. Then it goes back to the beginning. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Check out my pink lid. I love samba. Okay, so keep that that pattern really nice and short. Only count to four because you don't want this to be overcomplicated. The bass, the pulse, it holds everything together. Without the pulse, like a person, the, it, the music will not exist. Okay, you need that nice steady pulse to keep it going. Then all the rhythms can overlap on top. Okay, so that is our uh, bassy Serdo pulse provider. Okay, next, oops, uh, next one, um, very simple. I've got some rice, not too much. We don't want to be wasteful. Um, we've got some brown rice in a, a commonly uh, used brand of water bottle. Okay, and this is going to be my shaker. Um, now, when you play a shaker, um, 
in uh, oops. <laughs> when you play a shaker uh, in a with a, with a samba kit, it will generally be like a long can, and when you hold it, you you shake it going sideways. If you shake it going that way, the beads or whatever is inside takes too long to get down the other end, so it's like this big long, uh, and it gets quite difficult to keep a nice steady rhythm. Um, uh, but this one. It keeps our music, it keeps the, the rhythm going. So that could be your rhythm. You could go, keep it going, 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 keep it going. Don't keep saying it because otherwise you will drive yourself mad. So that's our shaker rhythm, okay? Again, mix it up. You could do something a little bit more. You could do the, mix the pattern up, make it uh, interesting. You come up with your own sentences. These are just my ideas. That doesn't mean they're the right ideas. It's just what I think. This is what I'm going to do for my piece. All right. So there's our shaker. Cool. Right. So next up, we have got <coughs> a couple of cups. Now, as a rule in music, if something is big, it's going to be lower. If something is little, it's going to be high pitched. So this is a slightly thinner mug. This is a thicker mug. Aren't they lovely? Um, and I've got a, a pastry brush, obviously. Um, and so I'm going to come up with a little rhythm. Now, the rhythm I really like, and I'm not going to change this one. And if you've done samba with me, you'll probably recognise this one. So this is going to replace our go-go bells. Now, a go-go bells in samba, there, you get a small one and a big one and you hit different ones and they come and that provides the melody all right so so it's got that nice little um you can, you can make it really nice and colorful with this so uh, the rhythm that i'm going to uh choose is um i would like to eat a banana i would like to eat a banana okay so that's going to be our basic rhythm so two on the little one i would like to eat a but, sorry, I would like to eat a banana. So that one gets three just before you get to banana. So I'll do that again. I would like to eat a banana. And it's got a little groove. You want to make sure there's a nice bit of swing to your um, rhythms because otherwise it gets a bit stiff and military. We don't want it, we're not in the army, okay? We're having a, a street party. Well, we're not in the street, but in our kitchens, all right? So that's going to be our rhythm. I would like to eat a banana. I would like to eat a banana. I missed that one there, sorry. Okay, that's done with those. Here we go. Only joking. I have break my cups. Right. And um, not strictly a kitchen utensil, but um, sometimes you might find in if you a vegetable oil bottle or something like that, um, they've got uh, ridged sides. But I thought a nice little ridge, I've got a Henrietta vacuum cleaner and that's going to provide our scraper okay so um uh again <laughs> use your imagination so you could go scrape 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 it to scrape 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 it to scrape okay so just to give it a nice little bit of movement again it's kind of with the shaker keeps it going so scrape 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 it to scrape 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 it to scrape there's our uh, scraper. So that's four. Um, I'm just going to go and get the fifth. The fifth thing uh, is going to be our frying pan. So um, the rhythm for this one, I've got a wooden spoon and a frying pan. Um, uh, I'm going to go, could I have a biscuit please? 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 Hit it at area, different areas of the pan. Uh, you'll get different tones. The handle sounds quite nice. So experiment, okay? Keep that rhythm going, but maybe you could go. Could I have a biscuit, please? Okay, so change the, the pitch of it, okay? Right now, like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record all these. I've got my loop pedal down here. I'll, I'll do a little, um, I'll show you a little picture of that. Okay, and on the loop pedal, um, I've got different channels and I can record and overlap various things. And hopefully when I put all these rhythms together, it's going to sound really good, I hope. Um, okay, so let's go. Okay, so this first one, I'm going to hit my microphone. Try not to bash microphones too much. This shouldn't hurt it. And it shouldn't be too bad for it. I'm just going to hit it on the side just to give, give it a bit more 
of a boomy sound. It's going through a little amplifier, so you might not hear the vo you might not hear it that clearly to start with, but I'll turn the volume up um, later on as we go through. So remember that side rhythm. Check out my pink lid. Okay, being attacked by a Hoover pipe. Here we go. samba rhythm and you could stick some vocals over the top okay so maybe you could do like this might go horribly wrong ready do do this please film it send it to me um it will be entertaining and i might share it on my youtube channel if you'd be cool with that thanks for watching i hope um you haven't judged me uh for slightly losing my marbles toodle pip <laughs>